Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. So, I'm supposed to announce the giveaway winner last video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna pop the winner up on the screen now. Oh, God. You okay? Yeah, that's in my face, bro. Let me see. Well, you better film that. Well, this has to be one of the craziest and most unexpected intros on Kicking Their Bass TV ever. But before we even hop into that, I have a few things I would like to talk about. I actually partnered up with the DNR, and today we're going to be talking about fishing licenses and also the areas that you can and cannot fish. So first off, let's go ahead and hop into the fishing license part. I am from Georgia. Um, if I want to go fish Florida, if I want to go fish South Carolina, or I want to go fish California, note that you have to have a fishing license in each state to be able to fish. My Georgia license will not work if I try to go fishing in California. That's just a thought, something that you need to think about. Um, so when you're going to areas, make sure you have a fishing license. If you're watching this right now, make sure you go purchase a fishing license. And one other thing, if you guys are wondering where that money goes, when you purchase a fishing license. That money actually goes to, you know, stocking some of the areas, stocking some of the lakes, stocking some of the ponds, um, fixing up boat ramps, marinas, advancing the fish habitats in some of the places. So if you guys were curious on where that money actually goes when you purchase a fishing license, it's to help the community and help the fisheries around you. So at the end of the day, from fishermen to fishermen, we're helping each other out and we're doing it legally. And the other topic that I wanted to talk about, a lot of you guys asked, Noah, how do you get permission to some of the places that you fish? Now let, let's talk about this for a second. So if you go pull up to a pond and, and there's a sign that says fishing for residents only, you cannot fish there unless you live there. But if you have your buddy Joe that lives there and he wants to come out and fish with you and he has obvious permission to fish there, then that is completely fine. If you see a farm pond on the side of the highway and it's clear as day that that is not your property, somebody clearly owns that property, don't just go walk up and start fishing that. The last thing you want is an angry homeowner. He could even think that you're trying to break in his house. You know, he could think that you're trying to break in his shed that's right next to the pond and steal some of his stuff. And some bad things could happen. So the last thing you want to do is go walk up on somebody's property, guys, and escalate a situation that should have never occurred. If you do want to fish some areas like that, make sure you know the homeowner, the property owner, and you do ask them politely if you could fish there. And if they do tell you no, you, you have to understand that, guys, and be respectable. Because at the end of the day, I, I totally get it. If I owned a big piece of land, there was a pond out there, and some people were sneaking out there, I, I would be mad as well. And um, you do need permission to fish those areas. You know, I'm from Atlanta, like Lake Lanier, um, about an hour away, you got Hartwell, you got Sinclair, Oconee, all within a couple of hours of each other. Those are all public fishing areas. So you're allowed to go fish there. Like I said, you just need to have your fishing license. That's very important. So those are the few topics I really wanted to talk about, guys. At the end of the day, listen, it's a privilege to be able to fish and we're all so blessed to be able to go outside and, and pretty much get on the water and just go fishing, enjoy life, have a good time. But you do have to follow the rules to be able to do that we're very blessed too so we're gonna go ahead and hop back into this intro listen man this is crazy and we also catch some really big fish in this video hope you guys enjoy it hit that like button let's hop right into it now oh god you okay yeah that's in my face bro let me see well, you better film that. let me see ow god damn. all right here take your hand off take a picture oh it is in your face bro i'm sorry fletch i gotta put it on video oh my god that's not good bro I'm All not right. too happy about we, we this. We gotta do some surgery. I know you're not happy. I know you don't want the camera, but you want to film it. Well, <laughs> you, do you have I'm anything so to say? Sorry, dude. All right, Larry. Dude, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you. Ow. Dude, that's, that's a good picture. No, <laughs> yeah. that's a good picture for real. I feel so bad. Oh my god. It's okay. We're gonna handle it. All right. Do you want dude, to? I, I first this, of all, I, here. Let me get the scissors. Hey, you're not holding this. You want to film this? Right, it's my face. It's, We're gonna get it. Right? I, damn. You don't want me to take it out? No. Are you sure? Yeah. It's been a crazy morning, guys. We left his house, and the moment we left his house, my camera just <laughs> flies out of the whole golf cart, just gets destroyed on the ground, and then literally before we can even fish, that yeah, happens. Yeah, that's that's nice. Um, man, I hate <laughs> I hate it for you, bro. <laughs> Anyways, I was gonna introduce everybody. By the way, this is Larry. Um, first time on my channel. A great introduction. Uh, Thank you. Hey, I'll look people in the face. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> the, the hook setter over here. Then we got Fletch and uh, we got Mike over Fletch here. Up. And we got my boy Ada over I, here. I but, hook fish in the face. Um, That's what I do. Anyways, what we're doing, I don't know if I announced the giveaway winner. So if I didn't, I'll do it now. Um, if you want to give away, DM me on my personal Instagram, at Noah Pescatelli, and I will get mock smash reel out to you. So we're going to hop into today's video. I'm actually going to be fishing by myself. They were going to go bank fishing, but they're going to be taking a trip to the hospital now. No. <laughs> I'm going to the pond. I'm going to the pond. I don't know like, where we're going. I just need. I just know I need to go and get this professional. Do you know? Thing. Have you been to like a hospital around? Not here? around here, dude. We'll find one. <laughs> oh man, we'll this find is something. this just has been an interesting on one. Too. But um, guys, I'm gonna be fishing by myself. We're gonna catch an awesome bag of fish today. I'm excited about it. We're, we're our goal is a 20 pound bag of fish. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit the like button if you guys want to see some more collabs with the boys. And uh, let's hop right into it. Well, so Fletcher and Larry just left to go to the hospital. Um, got my boy A-Dub right here. Got Mike. What do you guys think about that whole scenario, man? I've never seen some stuff like that, man. The thing is, it was a frog hook, so it was like thicker. It was just in the side of his mouth. We were joking that there's going to be a hole. He's going to try to drink water. And it's going to be like squirt squirt now. Now. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> I, I was on my phone, dude. I don't even know what's happening right now. All I know is I'm about to go catch a big bass. That's what I know. It's gonna be a good day, man. It's gonna so, be, it's gonna be real let's good. go ahead and hop into it. They're gonna be in that boat. I'm gonna be in this boat. We're gonna go out to this flat to start off with. Um, I want to start off with a crankbait. I got to rig up my poles real quick, so I think we'll do that. And I actually stole one of Fletcher's rods. Not really. He he left it here. And another thing is my camera. I actually dropped it out of the golf cart as we were driving here. And look at this, man. I, I almost messed up my camera, but I messed it up a couple weeks ago. That's just unfortunate. It's been an interesting morning so far. So let's go ahead and tie up our baits. I think I'm going to do it on the dock just so I'm not floating out there. It is pretty windy today. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, good bit of wind, overcast. Um, the pressure has skyrocketed from the last couple of days to today. Um, but then again, we have seen a few fish come up and eat some bait fish. So it could be really good. I think we're going to bust a 20 pound bag today. We're going to try our best. Crankbait bite, big jig bite, chatterbait bite, and we're going to make it happen. So let's get started. So this is Fletcher's combo. He has a big jig on it. I'll, I'll probably throw it just because he left it. Um, and then on my mock smash over here, you guys know this is like one of my favorite little crankbait rods. Not for big crankbaits, but for smaller ones. And the one that I'm throwing is between four and eight foot. So I think it'd be good. I have like a little brim hook and a split shot on right now. I'm going to have to strip some line off. I've been like live bait fishing with all my combos. So they're all messed up. Look at this. This crankbait right here. And this is in lavender citrus four to eight foot um this one is going to be some juice so i think we're gonna get on a good crank bite as long as we cover water and you know keep throwing it i think we're gonna catch some good ones so on the second rod i'm gonna rig up a chatter bait this is just a basic white chatter donk it's got a little bit of sparkles in it it's not the the regular white and we got a regular fluke trailer on it sorry about my phone man this happens all the time so this is what i got guys crank bait chatter bait i got fletcher's big jig over there and then i have a frog on I don't even know if they're going to eat top water today, but I did bring my frog rod just in case. I'm fishing by myself. I love fishing by myself, guys. I, I don't get to do it much, so I'm actually excited about it. I feel like I fish a lot better when I'm by myself and really figure out the fish good. So we are going to launch this boat and get after it. I'm ready. We're going to go have some fun after everything's been going down. Okay. Here we go, boys. I'm excited to do some fishing today. Hey, dude. That was very close. We don't need none of that. All right, you want to go to that flat? Just follow me, chief. All right, so we're going to head to our first little spot that I'm thinking. There's, there's a big flat. I think if we get those crankbaits, chuck them out there, cover some water, try to fire those fish up, it could be really good. While we're at it, we might as well do it. I don't know if I showed this footage, but I actually caught one trolling last time. It was almost a five pounder. It's kind of crazy doing this with a crankbait. All right, so we just made it to this flat that we're going to be fishing. Hopefully we will hook a big in here or at least fire him up. Have a good bit of fish biting. Yeah, but right, I'm telling you right here, bro. I mean, you don't have to fish it, but. See, that's what I was thinking. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's a big one. Instantly. Yeah, you guys need a fish here, bro. He feels big. Could be just how I have him hooked. 
Oh, they're schooling right there. Throw in there. I fired them up that quick. Look at them schooling. Yeah, that's not big. This is the way I had them hooked. Look at that. Boys, first fish instantly. There's fish are schooling. We're going to try to get back in there, but that is our first fish today. A little one pounder. What's up? How you guys doing? It's an awesome day outside, man. It's beautiful. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. What's your name, man? What's your guys' names? Gavin and Teddy? Big shout out to Gavin and Teddy, man. Supporters of the channel. You guys will be in the video, man. If, if they can see you. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, gosh. That might be a big one. I was just schooling. I don't know if he's big or not. It feels good. It's hard to tell in this crankbait. He's running at me. I don't think he's big at all. Oh, he's bigger than the last one. Oh, he came off right there. <laughs> About a pound and a half. All right, quick release. I don't mind. Let's see if there's another one right here. When this fish come up, you know, they, they hang in packs. When you get out in these cloudy conditions, guys, especially when the wind's pushing like this, especially since we're... we're you know falling into this fall bite and that fall bite what these fish do is that they're feeding on bait fish oh there he is there he is oh gosh dude that's a good one really good one hold on let me get this fish in the boat he's barely hooked dude How big is he? probably he might be four. Nice three. Oh. I'm trying to get him hooked a little better. Yeah, that's a three pounder. That's a good one right there. Oh God, dude, what? That actually terrified me. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that, guys. They are munching that. That's probably a three to three and a half pounder right there. It's good. We've got three fish today. Two of them were small and now we're, we're upgrading. Like I said, I want to catch that 20 pound bag today. So I'm hoping this one to be our smallest today out of our best five. That was a good little three pounder right there. Thick and chunky, man. He is feeding up. That was a good fish. Let's go. That was awesome. He actually bit it like a little brim. It was weird. It was like tick, tick, tick. I never, I don't rarely get bites like that on a crankbait, but let's go boys. That was our first good one today. Crankbait. My name. You might need, yeah, they're not going to eat the bottom, bro. You need to, you might need to tie that curve that you have in the same color. Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Oh, oh, that might be him. Dude, that's like a, that's a big one, Mike. Dude, he keeps diving it. Oh, my gosh. Adolf. We got him, dude. That's a good fish, bro. Good job. That's awesome. There he is. That's a big one. That's a big one. Has to be. Has to be. Come on. That feels bigger than any fish I've hooked today. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. That's a good one. He is a good fish. Crankbait is getting it done today, boys. Sorry about that wind. It is brutal today. It is so bad. Saw some bait fish flickering out here. I wouldn't say that's a three and a half, but that's a three pounder all day. I need to get us before we blow in this tree. Good fish right there, man. Let's go. Who was? Oh my gosh. Look at that, man. They're loaded here. Get them on this crank bite. We got a five bass limit now. Oh man, they're short striking it. I'm gonna try to any pockets today. I've been fishing offshore all day. Should be one back there. Oh, that's a giant. I mean, guys, this is a huge one. Might be my PB out here. He's running at me. Huge, guys. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. It's a giant. 
I mean, giant. No, 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 Oh, it's freaking choked it. That's a five pounder all day. I thought he was bigger. Oh, he might be bigger than five. Get him up to the boat, baby. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look how he ate that. That is a five pound bass, boys. Oh yeah. I would love to get a picture with this, but I'm by myself. Is there a scale in this boat? I think it's an Adams and they just went the other direction. I just had a good feeling about this spot. Oh yes. <laughs> that is a five pounder, baby. Just look at that mammoth. It's a freaking big one, boys. It's a freaking big one. Let's go. I said I wanted to catch a 20 pound, pet, 20 pound bag today. That's the ones we need. Oh man, that's it. It's three good fish. We need two more good ones. He swims off right there. Wow, I thought I lost that. I literally thought I lost that fish. He was all the way in this back corner. <sighs> On this Thunder Cricket, I usually always throw the regular chatter donk. But this thing just looks nasty, honestly. It's like really big. I haven't really got to throw it much. That was a freaking big one, man. First fish on this thing. Wow. It's actually tougher than I've ever seen it. Really? You remember that time? Oh yeah, I got one right now, but. Oh, nice. On the, on the chatter donk. You want to say hey to the fam? They can hear you. Oh, what's going on, guys? Fletcher's getting back from the doctor with Larry right now. <laughs> No, we're not even talking about it. We're done. That's the state. No more talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that fish choked that chatterbait. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, the um, hook is out of my face. <laughs> thank God. Yeah, that was a catastrophe, man. All right, guys. Well, just caught one while I was on the phone with Fletcher. Nothing big. My phone's slipping, so I'm going to try to get him back in the water. He's only about a pound and a half. He could be two pounds. He's got a two-pound head, but one-pound body. A little pound and a half. We're on the chatter dunk again. It's going to keep on going. I've been fishing shallow for a good second now, you know, skipping this chatterbait under the trees and I haven't had any bites, but the one thing I noticed on this bank versus the other ones, you know, we were down in that canal, this wind wasn't really peeking through too much. And now the wind's coming up. And as you guys can tell, when you, you really need to pay attention to how the wind is positioned and this wind is hammering right in this bank right here. And that's exactly where I caught that fish. You know, those fish are going to be sitting there waiting to ambush bait fish. And um, it's, it's important to pay attention to where the wind's going. The wind can really help the bite. The pressure is super high today. And I think that wind has helped me tremendously. I'm really paying attention to that wind. So we're gonna work our way back here and I wanna hit a spot or two more on that crankbait. And then we're probably gonna start heading back the way that we came. But hopefully we'll hook a few more big fish. I really want two more good ones. What's up brother, how you doing? What's that? That's windy. Oh man, it's been really windy. It's actually helped out the bite a lot though. Really? Yeah, man. Look at that right there. Oh gosh, got him right there. There's more right there schooling. Uh, this one ain't as big as that one I just saw. There's bait fish popping right there. Get him off real quick. Here we go, guys. What's your name, man? Scooter. Scooter? Yeah. Big shout out to the Scooter, man. We just, we having a good conversation over here. Just talking some fishing. Yeah, they started schooling right there on that bridge. I want to go do it bad. I've been, I've been on this catfish phase, man. His dad caught two huge ones over. Right there, another cast. They're under this bridge. Right there on the chatterbait, guys. Small. That's about a pound and a half. Those next cast, they're chewing this bait, these bait fish, and they're pushing them up on these little tiny pillars. It's a pretty bass right there. Nothing big, but they're fun to catch. Living life, enjoying life. Let's get back in there. I bet there's some more. There's some fish right here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh no. That was a good one. That might have been, that one might have been three, four pounds. Ah, it's been running perfect. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, hey. Dude, that's a good one, I think. There we go. On the jig. First slow bite today. It's not a bad one. Solid two and a half. Got a huge head on him. Nice. I had him good. He was running. That's why I had to freaking crank my reel like that ain't nothing big but that's a good little fish right there beautiful one man this is it's been an awesome day guys been a great day What's up? How you guys doing? It's an awesome day outside, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, I actually, I just caught two. They were small though. Yeah. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. What's up? Uh, what's your name, man? What's your guys' names? Gavin and Teddy? Yeah. Big shout out to Gavin and Teddy, man. Supporters of the channel. You guys will be in the video, man. If, if they can see you. <laughs> you know, thank you guys for the support, man. That means a lot. You guys have a good one. All right. Big shout out to Gavin and Teddy. Thank you guys all for the support. Everybody watching, man. I wish I could meet all you guys. It's, unfortunately, I, I don't know if I can meet every single person, but man, you, you guys are rocking, man. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today if it wasn't for y'all. Go for a stop recording.